I'm Atubo George, and I'm so blessed to have this great opportunity to bring God's truth to you today. Now, are you ready to call forth your daily bread? Listen, I keep telling you this. This is a command that the Lord gave to us. And as we obey, we are releasing faith. And because we're releasing faith, we are pleasing God in this. So that's why we do it. So are you ready? Say this with me now. Say, Father. I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, now, thank you for those of you sending in your testimonies, you know, sharing how these, these broadcasts have been a blessing to you. You know, someone sent me a message like this. This declaration we've been declaring has been working. Praise God. Yeah, it worked because the Lord commanded it. And it's working in our lives. So he's working in your life also. Praise God. So, so don't, don't hesitate to send in those testimonies. We want to know what God is doing in your life. Praise God. Father, we honor you today for your mercy. Your mercy is at work in us today because your truth will come to us. And, and as we enjoy your truth, I declare right now, every body is lifted from all those that are watching and listening to me right now. And every yoke is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now we are talking about living carefree. So our text is from 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 6 and 7. I'm linking this too so you'll understand. He says, humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Now let me show you something in the book of James. Brother James chapter 4 and verse 10. James chapter 4 and verse 10 says, Humble yourselves in the sight of God and he shall lift you up. Ah, that's what a promise. Humble yourself in the sight of God. And when you do, he shall lift you up. Praise God. Now let's go back to, to, to 1 Peter chapter 5. He says, how do you humble yourself? I was sharing that with you yesterday. You do so by casting all your cares. And I told you yesterday, these cares are the cares that will make you proud. So he says, cast it on the Lord. Have you ever seen someone that you're trying to do something for the person and the person feels so awkward? See, now, now they don't realize that that it, it's in itself is a kind of pride. Have you, you know, some people you give them something and then they, they feel embarrassed, like, why should you give me something? No, I'll give you something bigger. Now, what is working in their heart is actually pride. But, but you see, the pride now comes with unbelief. They don't just feel God can send somebody to do something. Because you know, sometimes people have been gotten so used to giving to others that it's so difficult for them to believe that God can use somebody to do things for them. They only think about it at their own level. So, so when you say God can, yes, God will help me help somebody, you know, give me that big contract that I'm looking for. Hey, what about, you, you don't understand. What about God sending someone to buy you something as little as recharge card? Now you, you say, I, I mean, the recharge card is not my problem. But you see, understand when you are walking in pride. And that in itself can hinder you from receiving things from God. So, 
You always buy a recharge card because you have the money to buy it. So anytime you want it, you just buy. Anytime you have it, you just buy. And one day God ministers to someone and says, send that person, buy a recharge card for that person. Now that's, that's a unit for your phone. And the person obeys the Lord and buys it. And you feel embarrassed. Oh, I didn't tell you I needed you. I said, no, sir. God told me to send it to you. Ah. Are you sure you're not looking for something from me? See, that's what they feel. But it's pride. He said, no, sir, I, I don't need anything for you. He said, hey, I don't like collecting things from people because I will now feel indebted to them. That pride is working. You have a problem. You haven't learned to receive from the Lord. Sorry, what did he say again? God told me to, God told you to give. Oh, wow. Thank you for obeying the Lord. That's all. Thank you for obeying the Lord. And then you go, now you see, God may be doing that to get your attention to something. I'm telling the truth. He is seeing the pride, because you might have been humble, trusting the Lord and walking with the Lord, and then the Lord begins to bless you. And as the Lord is lifting you up, you will know when pride begins to set in. And then your attention will be moved from God, who is the blesser, to the things that he has blessed you with. Now, but you see God, he always wants your heart to be on him. So he will keep doing things in your life to remind you that he is the one that blesses. So someone bless you with something that looks insignificant. It's not a problem to you. You, you, don't, you don't have need in quote of that thing. But, but someone says, God said I should give you this. And they say, oh, thank you. Thank you for obeying the Lord. God bless you. And then you go back to the Lord and say, Lord, wow. You, you thought about me and, and recharge God. Now you may be praying for something big. You may be praying for a job in billions. Because that's your level. But someone said you sent him to give me a recharge card. Wow. And then Lord said, yeah. Because I ought to take responsibility for all your recharge card from henceforth. Whoa. 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 Lord. Thank you. See, he's demonstrating his love to you. He doesn't look at your bank accounts. He doesn't say, oh, this one, you're rich, so uh, I can't give you any. Let me go and look for poor people. No! Thank you, Holy Spirit. He, he's, because now he tells you that, and then you're like, okay. You know what he's doing? He wants you to go back living by faith. So now he just gave you a word that I want to take full responsibility for your recharge card. Like, okay, Lord. Okay. So now what's the thing? You begin to expect. See, whenever you need this, it will be supplied to you. So you begin to expect it. And then, before you know what's happening, someone else, and then someone else, and someone else, and someone else, like, whoa, wow, wow, <laughs> Lord. And then you, 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 now you see, you see, sometimes you get so blessed that your testimonies are reduced. Because now you're on a level, you're the one blessing people. You're the one blessing people. You're the one blessing people. Not because God doesn't want to bless you, but you get to the point where you stop receiving from the Lord because you really don't know how to pr pr uh, present yourself before him to receive from him. And, and then suddenly you now realize, oh Lord, the church card hasn't come yet. I'm too used to it now. Now, ah, wow. And then I said, ah, I commanded someone to buy it. Like, okay, Lord, who? Call so and so person. And I say, okay. You call the person and say, hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm so sorry, son. Do you know, I woke up this morning thinking about you. Oh, really? What were you thinking? Do you know, it came to my mind. I don't know. I don't know how you to look like, Sha, but, but 
I, I think I'm sensing the Lord is saying I should send you Richard's car. But I would like to send you that. Say, you better obey the Lord. Praise God. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I, sir, I, I'm going to do it right away. I'll do it right away. Yeah. You see, we walk by faith and not by sight. This is how we walk with the Lord. This is how we enjoy his goodness. Someone looking at you, Sherry, guess what? You know, God takes care of my recharge card. And someone like you, do you have a recharge card problem? You see, they don't understand. They, don't, they, they think it's money. You see, that's how the world thinks. The world just thinks money, 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 money. So you have money, so you don't have need. Hey! We trust in the Lord and he shows his goodness in our life in every way. Now, do you know something? You may be expecting God to do that, give you that billion naira contract. And you pray and pray and pray and pray and, and nothing seems to be working. But God is waiting for you to master receiving recharge cash. When you master that one, God now says, now you, I just want you to remember that it is me that gives you the power to get wealth. Now go get the billions. But you are having a problem with it. Ah, please, this is, you despise such things. You, you know, say thank you, thank you very much. And then you turn and say, you know, if, if I'm looking for something, say recharge card. You're despising it. Because you don't understand what God is doing in your life. Now guess what's happening? Pride. So when the Bible says God resists the proud, you think of that wicked man that raises his shoulder and walks. Yeah, and he doesn't, he disdains everybody around him. You don't realize that you are beginning to disdain the gift of God. You know what God is doing in your life? Because sometimes, even though God has blessed you, trouble can still come. When trouble comes, and then you, you, you are looking at your losing, you've, you've lost two billion naira now. You know, maybe exchange rates just changed or inflation happened. And I, whoa, ha, ah, God. And then the Lord says, fear not. Have I not been the one supplying you, Richard? God? I can supply you everything also. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Every point in your life. Hey, Peter told us, do diligence to make your calling an election sure. He said, if you do these things, you will never fall. If you do these things, if you form the habit of making your calling an election sure, you will never fall. You know why? Because, listen, how, how do you make your calling an election sure? Always make sure there's a testimony of God's presence in your life always make sure where that is concerned always make sure that there is something you can point out where are your testimony when last did you share a real testimony what are testimonies for evidence that he is with us evidence that we are surrounded by an innumerable company of angels evidence that god is with us doing things for us that's why we have testimonies. So no matter how small it is, be excited about it. He's showing himself strong in your life. Praise God. That's the truth. And that's why he's telling you, humble, relax, reduce yourself. Someone can walk up to you and say, ah, Sir, I don't know the Lord said I should fuel your car. And this is how much I have to buy fuel in your car. Okay. You know, you, you, you get that thing off your mind. Yeah, there are people who want to, you know, use their gift to take advantage of you. But hey, always listen for their reason. If they say God sent them, then just believe the Lord and relax. Don't think you owe them anything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you thanks. And we receive all the stitches into our hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I believe that word I've just shared is for someone. And God is saying these things because he's been trying to move you to a greater level 
in your life. But you have been resisting. And the Lord is saying that until you come down to your first love, get back to that place where the love of God was paramount in your life and not things. And then the Lord is going to open those great doors for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise for your love. Thank you. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, today is a great day. And we see your faithfulness. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Have the best day ever. Bye.